Another induction problem. Show that this, uh, this guy right here, n times n squared plus 5, is always going to be divisible by 6. So we'll show for n equals 1 at the start. So we get 1 times 1 squared plus 5, which is 6 times 1, which is 6. So that one works. First domino has fallen. Show true for n equals k. So this is saying that k times k squared plus 5 should equal some sort of 6a. Should be factored into 6, 6 times a. Show true for n equals k plus 1. So we have k plus 1. k plus 1. squared plus 5 and that should be some six sort of a 6a prime okay so this is our substitution piece and this is our goal substitution I think maybe a k cubed so k cubed plus 5k equals 6a so therefore k cubed is equal to 6a minus 5k okay so this guy need a k cubed out of this guy k plus 1 k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus 5 which is 6 get that. So then the next step would be k cubed plus 2k squared plus 6k plus k squared plus 2k plus 6. All right, so let's put some things together. We've got a squared, squared, a k, and a k. So k cubed, I'll just substitute now. We have 6a minus 5k. Plus 4. No, that's not right. Plus 3k squared plus 8k plus 6. Go up here, we have 6a plus 3k plus 3, well 3k squared plus 3k plus 6. All right. 6, so let's do a little rearranging here. 6a plus 6 plus 3 times k times k plus 1. So this guy is definitely divisible by 6. We both have 6s. The question is, is this divisible by 6? So we'll do a little side math here. You should see that if this is a number like 4, then this is automatically 5. If this is 10, then this is 11. These are two consecutive integers. So the question is, is the product of two consecutive integers even? Because even is always a 2a. So the question is, is this a 2, well, let's, let's say b. Is this a 2b? Because I can go 2 times... 3, which would be 6. So two consecutive integers. So two consecutive integers look like this. 2n times 2n plus 1. So an even number plus its next term. If we distribute that, we get uh, 4 4n squared plus 2n 
And if I factor out a 2 here, we have 2, 2n squared plus n. So that is, of course, even because there's a 2 out in front. So yes, this can be written as a 2b. So let's go back to blue here, and we get 6a plus 6 plus 3 times 2b. All I care about is if this is even, which it is. I just proved that. So then I can factor out a 6. 6a plus b plus 1, which is, of course, can be written as 6a prime. And there you go. I think I, I, think I, I, think I killed that one. So let's put a little gravestone here. Maybe, maybe a little grass here, too. And a flower. Clouds. Okay, there you go.